Welcome all. This is Tobias Elwood. Lying to your faces. Gaslighting while claiming he's reading the room. The core is one. And I can behold the time. All politicians need to read the room. This is the generation that's coming forward to saying we're not accepting this model of Brexit. This model of Brexit, as we all know, is fake Brexit. Brexit in name only, isn't it? And no political party is really willing to embrace this. You're dismissing the single market. I remember when we had this debate on Brexit, it was Dan Hannan, it was uh, Nigel Farage, it was uh, David Frost and Boris Johnson all said staying in the single market was part of the deal. That was what they said during the referendum itself. The single market lie, Farage never said he, we wanted a deal. The referendum didn't mention a deal. It was in or out, wasn't it, remember? Yet the Ramonas changed it to a good deal that no one voted for. And here we are in the EU without the badge. The departing the European Union meant that we could stay in. We ended up with a silly debate which got polarised and no one is re recognising the fact that this is costing our nation 4% of our GDP every, every year. And if you want more money to pay for uh, nurses, you want more money for all these other things we want to do, we need to be braver uh, about recognising where the nation wants us as politicians to actually go. Did you vote to stay in the single market? Anyone? Didn't think so. This is blatant gaslighting of the nation, isn't it? It's to fit his and the globalists' worldview. And I'm sick of hearing these traitors try and make excuses for going back in when we never left in the bloody first place. 17.4 million wanted complete separation, you fraggle. I suspect this is a much higher number now. In regards to the loss of 4% because of Brexit, let me smash that lie too. UK real GDP rose by 7.6% in 2021 and by 4 4.1% in 2022, both since Brexit. 4% on top of that that he's suggesting we lose would make those figures 11.9% and 8.16% GDP growth if we had remained in the EU. Now I'd like to ask this Tobias, if you're suggesting that, answer why, just to pluck a few stats, Germany's real GDP only grew by 2.6% and 1.8%. Let's have a look at French, theirs GDP grew by 6.8% and 2.6%. And Italians, let's have a look at them, 7% and 3.7%. On top of that, food price inflation is higher all across the EU than it is in the UK I believe. Was that Brexit too Tobias? And they're in your precious single market, aren't they, Tobias? The single market is and always has been a way to control the economies of your member nations. Is there any chance that your Prime Minister, in your terms, is going to be braver? Because, I mean, you know, frankly, he's more pl impl implacably opposed to the single market than arguably Keir Starmer is. I think it's simply because of the backdrop as who's supporting, you know the nature of how it, is, how it comes about in the political parties and the bases themselves. I'm saying now look ahead, look at the next generation, look at what, what's best for Britain. Mm -hmm. Cherry picking the indoctrinated at the expense of the ones that maintain the nation is ridiculous, mainly because it aligns with his traitorous remoaning goals of gaslighting the name, look, nation, isn't it? No mention of lockdowns causing a 4% drop, you know, business was forced to close, etc. No mention of the forever war they started in the Eastern Bloc. Had to be Brexit because he doesn't like it. Politicians like this make me sick. Put the nation first rather than a partisan approach is what we had in the past. This is what kept Boris Johnson alive, was receiving the support from the base. This really is a cacistocracy. If you're not sure what that means, it's a government run by the worst, least qualified and most unscrupulous citizens. Stay sane everyone, I'll see you again soon.